Welcome again to the channel. In this video, we will talk about a library called Panda Parallel. Panda Parallel is a simple and efficient tool to parallelize Panda's operations on all available CPUs. Essentially, with a one line of change in the code, it allows Panda users to take advantage of all the multi-core computer operations within Pandas. As you can see in this diagram, you can see that what will happen if you use Panda's default apply operation and what will happen if you use uh, Panda parallel apply operations. As you can see with the Panda parallel, it's using all the available cores within the system. Panda parallel has different features, both for different data frames and also for Panda series. So for example, uh, for doing a simple apply operation in Pandas, you can call a function like this. But now if you want to do parallelization or if you want to use all the available cores in your system, you can use Pandas Parallel with this code. Pandas Parallel can be installed easily via using pip. Uh, and uh, it can be installed both for the Linux and the Mac OS. In terms of the benchmark, so they have conducted several benchmarks on uh, i7 Intel Core hardware, and they have shown that Pandas Parallel is able to perform significantly better compared to the standard uh, Pandas operation. Over here, you can see how fast Panda Parallel is able to perform different kind of compute for Pandas data frame, Pandas series, etc. Uh, now, the primary question which we have uh, is that when is the right time to use Pandas and when is the right time to use Panda Parallel and when is the right time to use PySpark, right? So, in a scenario where you can fit in uh, the amount of data or the small amount of data in your RAM or in your memory, uh, it's, it's much better to uh, Thing between pandas and pandas parallel so the primary drawback of pandas is that it's just using a single core in your machine so that is the primary bottleneck and if you want to process large data frame in these kinds of scenarios it's better to use panda parallel because it will use all the available cores in your machine uh, similarly you can use PySpark in situations where you cannot fit the amount of data in a single machine and you need us you need some uh, you need to fit in the data on multiple machines now what we will do is we will look into one of the examples uh, and we will see how pandas parallel can be applied to the pandas apply function and what sort of improvement uh, this change can bring to the code so here is an example where I am using Pandas Parallel on one of the data frames. So first of all, what I am doing is I am installing the Pandas Parallel library. Uh, then what you need to do is you need to initialize the Pandas Parallel environment. What it does it, it looks at the system configuration and it tries to understand that what is the number of available cores uh, in the machine. Now what we are doing is we are taking an example data frame with 5 million rows and we are initializing the rows and, and the columns randomly. As you can see, this is our data frame. So we can look at this data frame. We can take some samples in this data frame. Uh, so here is how the data frame look like. Now what we are doing is we are trying to uh, apply a function on this data frame. So essentially what we are doing is we are taking the input value X uh, in this data frame and we are multiplying it or taking the square of that value uh, and applying a sign function on top of it. Now in the first case what we do is we do a simple apply operation using the normal pandas and as you can see and we measure the runtime that how much time it's taking to process this as you can see it's taking around 1 minute and 31 seconds that is around close to 90 seconds overall uh, 
uh, and then in the other case we are using pandas parallel and in this case you are you can see that it's taking around 31.32 seconds so that is a, a, an improvement of 2.88 uh, times which is a significant improvement uh, on this giant gigantic 5 million data set so thanks a lot for watching this video if you like these kinds of videos please like this video and subscribe to my channel and thanks a lot